So, you know, I'm starting to realize that, I mean, just bikers in general, we're, we're like a band of misfits. You know, we, we ride around constantly in fear of our lives. Um, And we have this stigma attached to us. You know, everybody thinks we're assholes. Some of us ride like assholes because we need to. Uh, these are things that I didn't realize until I started riding myself, so. I guess what I'm trying to say is I get it now. Because me riding around in a car, never really thought about it. Actually, I can't really say that I could imagine. So it's nice seeing all these bikers out. I'd say about 80% of the time you throw down a wave, I get one back. You know, we're, well, I don't even know what I was going to say, but the uh, wave, I guess, is just a way of riders letting each other know that we're still alive, and it's like, hey, I understand that you're also riding around and getting nearly annihilated at every turn. like a secret club or something I don't know but yeah it's a lot of things I really didn't think of or even couldn't even imagine about riding a motorcycle because I never I never rode until this year So I just didn't know anything. Now that I'm on two wheels, I get a lot of the things that motorcycles do, you know, certain behaviors, which honestly kind of make us look like assholes sometimes, but for good reason. One of the things that I've noticed is people don't see you at all. Like I didn't I didn't think it was anywhere near as bad as it actually is. But it is. I don't care if you're wearing a crate load of reflectors. People are stupid. I mean, that's mostly because people are on their phones, which is annoying as hell. This guy. So, yeah. So, like I said, let's not talk about aggravating stuff. Living in Connecticut is aggravating sometimes, especially the driving part. So let's focus on some cool stuff, like the fact that I got my new gloves, and I said I got those new um, yesterday. So yeah, they're Sedicis, they're Ezios, Ezios, I, I don't know, I don't know how you say it, Ezio, but uh, I like them so far. 
they're leather and the thing is leather gloves that i noticed maybe it's just the cheaper ones because i got a pair of summer gloves that are leather palm that you don't get as much grip and your hand gets tired from holding the throttle more so than with my other suede gloves and uh these are leather but they have this cool little thing on the palm on both palms in the same spot so that you get better grip it's pretty cool it's a nice little uh a thoughtful thing to do The only thing I wish they did do that isn't on the glove is add some capacitive uh, thread so I could use these with a uh, touch screen. I carry my phone there as you see. Not that I'm going to be texting while I'm writing or anything but you know if I need to change a song or something like that it'd be nice or if I'm stopped somewhere. I don't feel like taking off my gloves, which can be a pain after you've been riding for a while and your hands are sweaty and your gloves want to stick to you. Then yeah, something like that. Or I could just carry, carry a little stylus with me or something, I don't know. Anyway, I could get some thread and I could make them touchscreen compatible. I've also seen this stuff called nano tips. Um, I actually saw that on uh, Suburban Delinquent's uh, channel, and I thought that was pretty interesting. It's almost like a like a little bottle of nail polish. It looks like a bottle of nail polish, but it uh, you brush it on your gloves, and it makes your gloves magically touchscreen compatible. It turns your finger into a stylus the way it's supposed to be. So, it's pretty cool. I think with a bunch of promo codes and discounts and stuff, you could get them, I think, 15 bucks for a bottle. I think it's, I don't know how many applications are in there, but it looks cool. Looks like something I want. You know. But, that's low on the priority list. Right now, it's getting towards the end of the summer, you know, I gotta start think about, yeah, start thinking about getting some winter weather gear, or at least cold weather gear. My goal is to ride as long as possible. I said at least up to the first salting of the roads. I hope I can do that. You know, I've been riding just about every day since I got the bike. Well, since I got my license, actually. You know, the best part is I don't have time to think about being stressed out when I'm on the road, when I'm on my bike. I mean, the only thing that'll really stress me out is the fact that people are dumb. I don't have time to be concerned about having a bad day or whatever whatever stupid garbage happens at work or anywhere else so it's just fun it's a stress reliever just so many good things the good outweighs the bad by a long shot. And I'm about to get on the highway. Alright, well I guess that was enough for me. Hope you enjoyed my battling for today. I'll catch you guys in about a week. Maybe earlier. We'll see. Haven't figured that out. Later.